Hello, and welcome to this episode of The Southern Way. I'm your host, Mike Mitchell, and today we're going to focus on the Commonwealth of Virginia. There's a five-mile stretch along Highway 11 in Virginia that offers sites for visitors that are both sublime and ridiculous. We're going to explore two of the places along Highway 11 today. First up, the sublime. Travel down Interstate 81 through the Shenandoah Valley to the Natural Bridge area to see an incredible sight. The Natural Bridge in Virginia has been called one of North America's most remarkable natural features. Indeed, Herman Melville makes reference to it in his classic novel, Moby Dick. And, as you'll see, the history of the Natural Bridge is intertwined with some of America's most famous citizens. The Natural Bridge was formed years ago when a cavern collapsed, forming the site that we see today. The Monacan Indian tribe's legend about the formation of Natural Bridge is a little more creative. According to the legend, the bridge suddenly appeared just as the tribe needed to escape from an invading enemy. Legend has it that a young George Washington was asked to survey the area that includes the natural bridge. Some say the future president carved his initials into the limestone. Others say he threw a rock over the top of the bridge. Years later, local historians discovered a large stone with the letters GW carved into it. Some accept this as proof that Washington did indeed leave his mark on the site. In 1774, just before the American Revolution and the signing of the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson purchased the land around the Natural Bridge from England's King George III, Jefferson paid the king 20 shillings for the land. Let's do the quick math. A shilling is one twentieth of a British pound. In today's dollars, a British pound is worth about $1.60. So that makes a shilling worth about eight cents. Give or take then, Jefferson paid about $2 for this land. That's quite a bargain. The land around Natural Bridge has remained privately owned ever since. In the early 1800s, Jefferson's heirs sold the site. The new owners erected an inn to house the increasing number of visitors coming to see this natural wonder. In 1998, the site was designated as a National Historic Landmark, and visitors continue to come from all over the world to see the natural bridge to this day. But on this stretch of Highway 11, the natural bridge isn't the only site waiting to be explored. There is another attraction right up the road from the natural bridge, but trust me, they are as different as night and day. Now, just up the road from natural bridge is another place that the locals affectionately call Foam Hen. Foam hinge is an exact replica of the original Stonehenge, but unlike the original, this site is made entirely out of styrofoam. You heard me right, an exact replica of Stonehenge made out of styrofoam. Historians say the original Stonehenge was constructed by crews of hundreds, maybe thousands of people over a span of 1500 years. The workers drag stones weighing 50 tons over 20 miles to their final destination. In contrast, Virginia's foam hinge was completed in about six weeks by a crew of four or five day laborers working with creator Mark Klein. The large styrofoam blocks were delivered to the site by four tractor trailers. Historians have speculated on the purpose of the original Stonehenge. Perhaps it was an observatory, a temple, a tomb. 
Virginia's Foamhenge has a clear purpose to educate and entertain. Many call Klein's Foamhenge the most exact replica of the original Stonehenge anywhere in the world. And even better, it's free to see. You can easily see it from Highway 11. Just pull over and enjoy the scene. Klein has added some personal touches, however. The wizard Merlin, for example, stands watch over the site, and the face of Merlin is said to be modeled after one of Klein's friends. Trust me, this five-mile stretch of highway in Virginia may be one of the most bizarre anywhere in the country. You've got to see it. Take a trip down Interstate 81 through the Shenandoah Valley and see for yourself how natural and unnatural the Commonwealth of Virginia can be. See you next time.